What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Fun Boxing with Will. I'm your host, Will, from H2O Co. Film and Photo. And uh, today we're going to be talking about how to get a really cheap Android tablet to go ahead and work with that DJI Fly app. So uh, let's get into it. Alrighty, so before we get started, I just wanted to go ahead and thank all my subscribers. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching the channel and checking this out every once in a while. Uh, if you go ahead and find any of this information useful or you like these videos at all, uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Go ahead and turn on the bell notifications as I'm always putting out new gear reviews. Uh, next week, I'm going to do a review on the Lenovo M10 tablet, uh, the 10.1 HD tablet which is kind of what I'm talking about today. Uh, we're talking about the DJI Fly app. Now, DJI just recently released two new drones, one of which was the DJI Mavic Mini, the other was the DJI Air 2. Uh, the two last entries into their line of drones, they're using a new app. It is called the DJI Fly app, as opposed to all of the other drones they've ever made have always ran off of a DJI Go app. I think the latest model is uh, issue number four. Um, that, those apps can be ran on dang near any cheapo smartphone. They work great. This new app has some hefty requirements, however, uh, one of which is that you have to have a 64 gig processor, gigabyte, uh, 64 bit processor that you have to be running. You also have to have, if you're running Android, you have to have higher than version 6.0, which I think goes all the way back down to the S7 series of phones. Uh, with a and, uh, Apple, it has to be uh, Android 7.0 or higher. Now, personally, I can't stand the OS on Apple products, so I am an Android guy through and through. I have been since the S3 came out, and I've never owned another phone since the S3 other than the Galaxy S line series. I actually am running my daily phone right now. Daily carry is the Galaxy S10 Plus 5G, so I'm still there. I'm still with them. Uh, I used to own a Galaxy S tablet, but once I bought my laptop, I didn't see the need for it, so I sold it, which I'm regretting now. Uh, the new DJI Fly app, it looked like when I first got it and was thinking about getting a tablet because I wanted to upgrade my real estate space for my screen from my six inch phone. I have terrible eyesight. Uh, so I went to go get a tablet and I looked online for some tablets and I found this tablet on Amazon for $139 and it is the Lenovo Tab M10 HD 10.1 inch screen. Uh, it has a 64 gig, 64-bit uh, processor that runs an, a Snapdragon 429, I think, which is the same processor that my phone runs. My phone runs a 869 or something. The Snapdragon processor it has a dual-core processor, 64-bit, and it runs Android 9.0, which is Pi. And this device came out, supposedly came out in 2019. So I picked that up cheapo tablet i figured you know it'll save me a couple hundred dollars from having to go buy an ipad which I, like i said i can't stand their os and i didn't want to shell out three plus up to five hundred dollars for a galaxy s tablet um so i was going to i was going to have a great time i was i bought the the mount that allows you to mount your tablet to your controller i bought the controller the tablet i was waiting for it i got it in the mail i opened it up signed into my Google account, went to the Play Store, and lo and behold, the Google Play Store didn't have the DJI Fly app in it. And I was like, wait, what's going on here? So I went to DJI's website, and I looked on DJI's website, and it said right there, plain as day, in big red letters, your device is not compatible with this application. And it confused me because the device specs meet every spec on their website as to what I needed to run the application. So. I was really disappointed, needless to say, and I was actually talking to some people on Facebook Marketplace about buying a Galaxy tablet. Uh, I had called Amazon, and funny enough, I was right in the middle of doing the return on this tablet so that I could turn around and buy a Galaxy S tablet. For another $100, I found a refurbished one. Uh, I was going to spend $259, mind you, twice what I paid for this. 
for a refurbished Samsung tablet that pretty much has the same specifications except for it had a little bit more RAM just and a better processor but just so that I could get this to work you know I was gonna drop that extra money and in right in the link uh, like right in the brink um, I got a message from an Amazon marketplace person I had spoken with about the ta uh, the tablets and he sent me a DJI link that was pretty much essentially telling me the the specifications that I need to run the DJI fly app and the one different thing about this link than from anything I had seen on the website was that it had two APK download files one was for iOS and one was for Android and they were the DJI fly app so I went ahead and tried it and it worked lo and behold my tablet could run the app um, so I, I went ahead and I didn't I don't have the cord that will reach the tablet yet I'm waiting on that it's coming tomorrow so I took my controller out for the air too and I took the tablet outside and I sat the tablet in my lap and I turned it on I powered up the drone powered up the app everything seemed to work fine I flew it about a quarter mile away in the park field the field in the park across the street from my house uh, I left it hovering. I tried out the gimbal controls. I did the active track square tracing. I pretty much tested out all of its features and had no issues running it at all on my cheap tablet. So I was really excited. Uh, I ordered the cords. I'm waiting for them tomorrow. Um, I had no crashes, no, no situations that made me think this app isn't going to be solid on this tablet. Uh, the one thing that I didn't necessarily like about it was to download it. I had to uh, enable unknown sources to be able to install into the tablet and it said that downloading, it gave you a little warning that says downloading files from unknown sources could potentially harm your device. Uh, I think everybody gets that warning whenever you download anything that's not from the app store when you do enable those unknown sources. Uh, that is the one downside to it that I found, but I'm going to go ahead and leave the link that I was sent the way that I downloaded this file onto my computer or on my tablet. Hopefully it'll work for you guys too. Uh, you might not be running a Lenovo tablet, but as long as your tablet is running Android 6.0 or higher and you have a 64-bit processor, this should work for you. I really hope it does and saves you guys a couple hundred dollars like it saved me today. I am so thankful that I figured this out. Um, so go ahead and let me know in the comments if any of you have this and it's successful for you because I'd like to know some feedback here and there if it actually works for you guys as well. Uh, other than that, until next time, I hope you guys stay safe and uh, most importantly, stay creative, my friends, and I will see you soon. Have a great night.